Around 1.26 million children under the age of 5 die in India every year. 57% of under 5 deaths occur in the neonatal period, which is within the first 28 days of life. The major causes being prematurity and low birth weight, neonatal infections, birth asphyxia and birth trauma. Interventions in hygiene, sanitation and water are highly cost effective and capable of preventing a large part of this devastating disease burden. Where poor hygiene, inadequate sanitation and insufficient and unsafe drinking water account for 7% of the total disease burden and 19% of child mortality worldwide. Globally, 8% of maternal deaths and in developing countries an estimated 10 to 15 percent are due to infections that can be directly linked to unhygienic conditions during labor and birth and to poor hygiene practices after birth. Approximately half a million children die every year due to diarrheal disease caused by unsafe water and poor sanitation as well as poor hygiene practices. The average MMR is 112 per 100,000 live births in Gujarat as compared to 167 national average. IMR is 33 per 1,000 live births in Gujarat as compared to the national average of 37. The infant mortality rate and maternal mortality rate has dropped down by 8% from 2008 as per the SRS data reflecting change over a long period of time. According to reports in India, out of the total neonatal deaths happening nationally, 40% of newborns and around 46% of maternal deaths occur on the day of birth itself. Poor hygiene during and after umbilical cord cutting, such as unclean hands or use of dirty cloth, can produce significantly more cord site infections in newborns. Basic and simple hygiene practices during maintenance care, labor and birth such as hand washing by birth attendant and clean birthing surfaces. Therefore, to reduce the mortality rates, it's essential that the focus is laid on maintaining proper cleanliness and wash standards in all the critical care areas. With clean surroundings in the hospital and proper disposal of wastes in the bin, no infection should spread to the mother and child while in the hospital, ensuring the health of the mothers and the newborn. Cleanliness and hygiene has been one of the major issues in hospitals. Hospital bread infections have affected the quality of outcome in most of the hospital surgeries. Therefore, to improve these two standards, we have taken a series of actions. The most important is long-term quality control measures have been started and our hospitals have been rated by different agencies to keep up the standards maintained all through. Winds of change began to blow with a clean hospital premises and clean labour rooms and better quality services in all the patient care areas. How was this achieved? A lot of the credit goes to the initiated programs giving the basics of water, sanitation and hygiene to the workers and the rural and urban care. We have prepared our uh, health institutes to up to the marks and we are probing them to have a inter-institutional competition. This has uh, given a boost to the infection control and uh, you know good habits of hand wash, keeping good linen, doing regular autoclaves and especially protocol-based management of biomedical waste. Launched by the Quality Improvement Cell, Family Welfare Department, Government of Gujarat, in partnership with UNICEF in HPDs. WASH being the collective term for water, sanitation, hygiene and management. Due to their interdependent nature, these four core issues are grouped together as one. Health and Family Welfare Department is working towards improving WASH compliance in healthcare facilities in partnership with UNICEF and Indian Association of Preventive and Social Medicine since 2014. So every quarterly, 
the IAPSM people come here for surveillance and they give us the technical support for the protocols to be maintained as a wash protocols. Health and Family Welfare Department's work here focuses on reducing rate of hospital acquired infections and thereby to improve the overall outcome of the RMNCH plus A with technical support from UNICEF. The WASH initiative works on building the skills of the healthcare staff on the proper care of the mothers and infants. By teaching them proper infection control practices and preventing spread of infections to the mother and the infant. Other than water and sanitation facilities, and uh, we, we also need to look at the water sanitation facilities in the labor rooms. In the labor rooms, if you have uh, the toilets, it not only reduces the burden of, uh, on the mothers to go to the long distances to go, for the, uh, go to the toilets. And uh, we can uh, also avoid the unnecessary enema and catheterization, which has implication on the maternal deaths. The emphasis is not just on the safety of the patients, but on safety of healthcare staff too. Following which, the provision of protective gears like caps, masks, personal protective equipment, aprons, gloves and gum boots and the use by healthcare workers as per standard protocols was implemented. The healthcare staff also follow five measures of hand hygiene. Before touching a patient, before clean aseptic procedure, after body fluid exposure risk, after touching a patient and after touching a patient's surroundings. These measures of safety guarantee the protection and care of the mother and the newborn along with the patients in the hospitals, making the workers the true heroes protecting lives without capes. Leading to a new beginning with affirmative and positive changes. With availability of hand dryer and a wall mounted soap dispenser Training of around 350 lab technicians was conducted in bacteriological and chemical water quality tests in partnership with WASMO. Total 79 healthcare facilities were given award of the Kaya Kalp in the year 2015-16 and 148 in the year 2016-17. 215 healthcare facilities are certified for NQAS and 39 for NABH. 25% of the cash reward is distributed to the staff as motivation. In the Kayakalp Awards, it's mainly focused again on the infection control practices and motivation of the staff. External assessment is only done by the expert group from the state levels. If we get more than 70%, we give the awards. Under the Swach Swast Sarvatra initiative, selected health facilities in open defecation free blocks will be eligible to receive 10 lakh rupees for the improvement of healthcare facilities aa hospital ma saaf safai na dhara dhoran mujhe ami kaam kariye chhe je dardi ni salamati ani amari salamati mate ghanu saru chhe ahiya amni jheri kamla ani dhanu ni rashi apvama aave chhe temaj sharirik tapas pan karvama aave chhe to strengthen supervision and monitoring a separate website has also been designed by the Quality Improvement Cell. The site will serve to converge between various district and state officials for grievance redressal. The Government of Gujarat has initiated Swachta audits on every 6th of every month and inspect the facility. The survey form comprising of 25 questions is designed for the same. It is also monitored at the state level. The WASH interventions also focus on the menstrual hygiene management along with improved access to safe water and sanitation. This has led to the improvement of cleanliness standards of healthcare facilities leading to better health outcomes. Delivery में आये सरकारी दवा खनामच कराई तो इनी सवस्तान सगवर बहुत सारी सरस रीते होई छे The lists of beneficiaries never seem to end With little lives opening their eyes to a better and cleaner world 
where cleanliness is to be defined to be the emblem of purity of mind. This then is the world of cleanliness, where UNICEF and its partners ensure a better today and tomorrow for the youth. By ensuring young smiles never fade and making cleanliness a state of mind.